Right, we're at the International Wine Challenge. Ray, hi. Hi. How's it going today? Today, like every day, has been very smooth for us. This is our first year at Lords. Uh, we used to be at the Barbican. And it's going very smooth. Maybe the proximity, the warehouse is in there, the judging is here, and the co chairs are in there, and it's just all flowing through. Okay, so this is the busy judging room. Let's say hello to some of the judges. We've got Helen here. Hello. Hi, Helen. How are you getting on today? Yeah, really well, thank you. Have you had some good wines through? We've had some brilliant wines through today. We had some very good Chilean Syrah, which was an absolute joy, Australian Merlot, uh, and finished with some New Zealand uh, sweeties. Fantastic. And how do you find the sort of international panels and the busyness of the room? Do you find it very conducive? Yeah, definitely. There's a real buzz about the wines. There's a real buzz that you are seeing new countries appear on the table all the time, which is really exciting. And generally, the quality every year just gets better and better. That's fantastic. Thank you, Helen. Thanks. See you later. Right, we'll just walk over and say hello to some other judges. Hi, Jamie Good. The Jamie Good. The Jamie Good. How are you getting on, Jamie? Very well. How have the well. wines been today? Well, um, today it's been a bit shorter today. We've had some big, big days the last few days, but we've done quite a lot. Today yeah. has been a bit shorter, which is nice, because I'm quite tired after doing four days. And um, how are you finding the new location here at Lord's? Our Lord's Rocks. I mean, it's the home of cricket, and oh. I love cricket, so um, it's a special place to taste. But also, it's nice to be able to see some light, some daylight while we're tasting Fantastic. But I it's never, not cricket weather, though, is no, it? No, not really, no. It would be nice if we had some sunshine. Can I ask, Jamie, you've judged abroad, like South Africa and other regions. I mean, what do you think is one of the main differences between UK and the International Wine Challenge judging and, and other competitions? Well, I think from my perspective, I think we're, we're just in a lucky place in the UK because we get wines from all over the world. The judges you have here tend to have got a lot more international experience and that really helps when you're judging wines to have context to put the wines into. Mm. So I think, I think one of the benefits of having this wines in the UK is because we have such a small industry of our own. So we tend to taste wines from all over the world on a regular basis, which I think helps a great deal. That's yeah. fantastic. Thank you, Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you for your time. Have a good day. Okay, Ray, let's walk through to the coach here. Okay, so this is real backstage access. This is the co chairs area where the co chairmen are looking over all the wines uh, to double check that the award that they've been given um, is, is true and nothing gets through the net. This, what you're just panning up through, is the Faults Clinic where Sam Harrop, Master of Wine, has been a uh, collating data for the past uh, six, seven years. And this year we have the AWRI, the Australian Wine Research Institute, over from Adelaide. And together they are just uh, putting their thoughts together on the uh, common faults found. Jeff Curry from the AWRI. Hi, Jeff. How are you going? G'day, Jeff. Just having a look at the some faults here and just confirming that they're actually there in the wine. Fantastic. And we'll follow up with some analysis a bit later on. That's brilliant. Australia. So that's excellent service for the producers. It is, for the, it is yeah. for the producers so that they actually know if their wine doesn't make it through to a goal, yep. what uh, what might be an issue with their wine, how to make it yeah, better. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you. Thank okay, you. let's go meet some of the coacher. Oz, Peter. Hello Oz. Hello. How are you? Good. Are you enjoying your day? You can tell by my teeth. Uh, you can even see my teeth, to be honest. How are you enjoying the new location? The new location? The cricket I, weather, I, I, tell I you see. What, the puddles of lords. It's, it reminds me of my my, my cricketing career. It was oh, all about this. It was short and done. <laughs> it, <and went. laughs> <Dumb>. <laughs> it was done. So, who have we got here then on the iPod? We've got Tid there and we have Peter, who's our new co chair this year. Hi, Tid. Hi, Peter. Big Peter. Peter. Hello. Hiya. How are you enjoying it? Loving it. Fantastic. It's hard work, but you know, it's got to be done. Okay, and the point of the co-chair, for anyone who doesn't know about it, is? It's just making sure that the panels work really hard out there, don't miss things. So generally, you know, we're pretty happy with what they do, but sometimes we bump things back up and we think, let's give them another go next week. We may not necessarily think they're great wines, but we think perhaps they're worth just a reconsideration. So that's really what it's about. Yeah. So, Ray, could you just explain how it works then? The wines are judged there, and anything out is then 
competition again here? In week one, we're in round one, week one here, and that's exactly what happens. Anything that these judges, very professional and talented, but if they think it's out of commended, the co-chairs just go, yes, I concur, I concur, or uh, they might think it deserves another chance, like Peter said, and if they do want to give it another chance, they Peter must check it with Tim, who is also acting as DJ, and then that's here I am, great. being DJ. And do you DJ. choose special music, Tim, for the mood of the competition? Um, the trouble with being DJ is you can never please everybody, no. so I do my best to please most of the people most of the time. Okay. So, um, but in the end, I just put stuff on that we like, and a bit of, bit of um, just a bit of excitement, you know, just to keep us moving and a bit yeah. fun. Towards the end of the day, it gets a bit rockier. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's fantastic. Thank you so much, guys. Let's just go back to the office range. All right, quick, girls. into the nerve centre quickly. Yep. Thank you. Too much. Let's see you yesterday. So once the wines have been judged by the co-chairs there, it comes back here and where the staff take off the, the label, the, the bags, to verify that it is the correct yep. vintage. Fantastic. And, Check uh, everything. The name. Uh, it might get a little bit messy here, so just direct you straight. Quick flash of the nerve centre there, Julian Audrey. Hello, girls. Hello. And that's it. That's a, that's enough backstage access. That's fantastic. Thank you, Ray. Could you just give us the web address? www.internationalwinechallenge.com. Yeah. Thank you so much.